This is Jared Horak for HorseRacingNation.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make money betting the 2017 Breeders' Cup Classic. And the Breeders' Cup Classic will be run on Saturday, November 4th, 2017. It's going to be the 12th race from Del Mar for three-year-olds and up. And they're going to be traveling 10 furlongs on the main track. Now, the first way to, to make money betting the Breeders' Cup Classic is we, we would try to beat the two favorites in here, Arrogate and Gunrunner. Now, Arrogate, he was outstanding between the 2016 Traverse Stakes and the 2017 Dubai World Cup. He dominated his opponents in that time, and he dominated a Gunrunner, who's the morning line favorite in this race, on two occasions in the Traverse and in the Dubai World Cup. Now, Arrogate loves 10 furlongs. He's got some running style versatility, and when he's on his game, he's unbeatable. Uh, but he hasn't been on his game since getting back to Dubai, from Dubai. And when he came back from Dubai, two times he ran at Del Mar, the San Diego Handicap, and the Pacific Classic, he didn't run as well. Uh, in the Pacific Classic, he did finish a better second. Now, he's training okay for this, and if the old arrogate shows up, the dominant arrogate, they're all running for second, but there's no guarantee that that's going to happen. Now, Gunrunner, on the other hand, he's been outstanding since coming back from the Dubai World Cup, where he finished a clear second, and he's been dominating his races on or near the lead, and he looks like California Chrome did heading into the 2016 Classic where he was dominating his competition and he finished second to Arrogate last year. The Gunrunner's uh, main obstacle is the 10 furlong distance. He's 0 for 3. Now the two most likely winners after those horses are both trained by Bob Baffert. Number 8, West Coast. He's 6 to 1 morning line. He's a 3 year old in this race. Trainer Bob Baffert, the last 3 years, he settled the Breeders' Cup Classic winner. All 3 were 3 year olds, just like West Coast. Uh, West Coast won the Travers. He won the Pennsylvania Derby in his last couple. The improving three-year-old for Baffert, he's certainly one to look out for. Collected for Bob Baffert. He's four for four this year. He's seven for seven overall on a fast track. He's never lost on a fast track. And he beat Arrogate in the Pacific Classic at this course and distance earlier this summer. From the outside post, he should be close up throughout. Now, a second way uh, to, to make money in this race, looking for a live long shot underneath. Gunavera, 30 to 1 morning line. Could be that live long shot. But he ran a big race in the Travers. Not a lot of pace. He had a bad start. He rallied in, in the middle of the race to make a nice move. And then he finished a clear second behind um, West Coast. That was a huge effort that day. He's an improving three-year-old. He's working well for this. Now, if you're interested in my tickets for this race, click on the link provided to, you, to view my wagering strategies. And those wagering strategies can be found at horseracingnation.com in the all-new handicapping section with daily best bets handicapping articles, and more at horseracingnation.com in the handicapping section. If you're interested in my full card analysis each day from Del Mar, you can find that at winninghorsepicks.com, including my Breeders' Cup analysis for Breeders' Cup Friday and Saturday. And that'll wrap up this video. And again, if, you're, if you want to look at that uh, link for my wagering strategies, click on the link provided. Until next time, good luck at the race.